Hello, my friends. Welcome to the metal shop. We're in the driveway here at the metal shop's world headquarters. <laughs> Seriously, um, this is my new, brand new 2017 Ford Explorer Sport. This is going to be the latest uh, project here at the metal shop. And just a you know quick explanation: we do, uh, we I do uh, cars in the warm. Uh, months of the you know spring summer and fall the warm months you know seven or eight months out of the year and I do guitars when I'm forced inside uh, for the cold so if you've uh, subscribed to my channel I hope you have for the guitar stuff you know stay tuned I will do some there will be some dribs and drabs of guitar projects over the summer but the majority of them are contained in the winter time when I'm forced indoors uh, so it's gonna be pretty much cars and related items anyway this is a I'm going to be my daily driver, and it's also, uh, of course, I'm not going to leave it alone. This is going to be modified, you know, immediately. I don't leave anything stock. Um, first things first, I'm going to put on uh, lowering springs. This, I find this, uh, this ride height uh, offensive, <laughs> actually. If you see, it's just the gap is no good. Uh, so I bought a set of H&R uh, springs which will lower it uh, uh, 1.6 inches only in the front, which isn't very much, inch and a half. And we're going to do 2.3 inches in the rear. So it's just enough, just tasteful. I apologize. You can see the, uh, the rust on the uh, brake discs there, the rotors. Um, this thing's just been, been sitting. I picked it up a week ago, and I haven't had to drive it. I have a rental car. Um, for various reasons and just do the quick walk around here this is a uh, aluminum not aluminum uh, sorry magnetic gray they call it magnetic gray I still got the temp tag you can see there um, I black is is a beautiful color for these you know black on black for this car it looks fantastic but you know for a daily driver um, it's just it's just too hard to keep clean it's just too too hard to keep clean so Anyway, this is going to get lowering springs. I'm probably going to paint these wheels. I, I probably dip them first to see how I like it. They should have been black. They should be black. I mean, this is a, you know, they're kind of a gray, that aluminum gray. So I, I can't, I can't even think today. That magnetic gray on the inserts here, um, and then it's got this, you know, machined surface which is a you know it's a pretty nice looking classy looking wheel but for the Explorer Sport with all these black accents the wheels should have been black you know you can get black wheels now um, on an Explorer uh, a, a, they don't call it some a performance package it's a it's a looks package it's a I can't think of what they call it. it's a dress up package for the for the XLT in the base model you can get it um, and, and it sucks too because the Explorer Sports used to be the only ones that had this really cool lettering, the badging that crossed the nose of the hood here. And now that appearance package, that's the word I was searching for, the appearance package, you can get that, that lettering on the appearance package Explorers. So that kind of sucks. I'm not a big fan of, I'm a huge Ford fan, don't get me wrong. Sorry for the wind. But that, um, that emblem, that Ford logo there in the front is just, that's an eyesore. This thing sticks out. It's humongous. Think of, imagine how great this grill would have looked without that Ford logo on it, but maybe just a small, small Ford oval here in the corner. And then just a sea of that black grill. That would look awesome. Of course, where I live, we are forced to run a front plate. Thank you. Fuck you very much. That sucks. It's just, again, that's like a wart on the front of, you know, what would otherwise be just a fantastic looking nose. These are great looking cars. And sorry, there's the rental, the Escape. That's actually a quick little car there. That has the EcoBoost, a uh, four-cylinder EcoBoost in it. That one's only a two-wheel drive, whatever. But, uh, oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to pause. I did not bring did not bring my keys to uh, to open to open this up. So, quick pause, and we'll be right back. 
All right, so we're back. Got the key fob in my pocket, no key really. So you get close to it and it will unlock. There's the keypad so you can punch in your code. Pretty cool the way it's all kind of hidden there in the, the B pillar. So we get in, of course, beautiful, really nice, comfortable leather seats and you know, the red stitching. And there's, there's a lot of videos out there of dealers and whatnot that are trying to sell these things that are doing an in-depth review. That's, that's really not what this is about. Um, so there is something that I'm not a huge fan of. This is an Explorer Sport. I mean, this is a performance SUV, you know, for lack of a better term. And it has a huge speedometer, but no odometer. You can, you can, when you turn this on, you can get a digital odometer over here in the, dis in the display, but, or if you want to look at other things in the display, there's a, there's kind of a cool little ribbon, a little ribbon tack that pops up here, but a performance vehicle like this should have a huge speedometer round, a huge tachometer over here. It, it should have two dials. It's just, that's one, that's, that's car design 101. You know, they got away from it. In the 80s, they did the square stuff, you know, the Chevy, the IROX, the Mustangs, and everything, these square things, but they very quickly came back to it. Companies like Porsche, they get it. Two big round dials, speedometer, tachometer, and then you can put all your other... I mean, this thing has, you know, this giant display over here, and then there's another one there that kind of doubles up this one, and then there's another one over there. You can control all this stuff from the steering wheel really nice gloss black accents in the steering wheel and anyway I'm not gonna go over this too much <coughs> excuse me this one came with the ridiculous dual sunroof moonroof the back one is fixed this one opens and I mean I'm not a fan of the sunroof that's just me personally it's a $1,700 option I would have much preferred seventeen hundred dollars to be spent somewhere else but guess what all of them in my area and i did a search you know with dealers more than 100 miles distance of my area and they all order them the same way they all order them with the the 400a package of uh, accessories and options and the one option the one pay option that they go is they all put this stupid effing moonroof in here the $1,700 moonroof if I had ordered this custom ordered this it would not have the moonroof in it it's a, it's a waste of money I, my f-150 that I daily drove before this had a sunroof I never even opened it the sunshade stays closed it's I'm just I'm not a fan that's just that's just me whatever enough about that um, oh, sorry that, that piece of tape is just to remind me that I taped over the uh, the license plate for this video just to remind me to take it off when I go for a drive so I don't get pulled over you can see the yeah, shift paddles for when it's in sport mode, which is nice. You know, you can drive this thing like like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and shift shift the gears yourself. So anyway, this one is the 400A, or is it 401A? I'm not sure. It's the it's a the lesser um, options package. So right off the bat here, it does not have the three position memory seat. Now I really would have liked that. I would have liked the memory seat. That's one part of that options package that I would have liked. Um, but that options package, the, the 403, I think the 400A is the standard options package, which all of them come with, all Explore Sports come with. This one, the 401A, is the $3,000 bells and whistles electronic gadget options package, which is not a good value for the money. It, it gives you some nice options. You know, this one only has heated leather seats. You know, the 401A gizmo package, it comes with air-conditioned seats. And the other one comes with light up cup holders. Ooh, and it has power, um, power tilt and raising and lowering of the power tilt and, and in and out of the steering wheel, moving the steering wheel in and out fore and aft, and the power pedals. This one does not have it, it moves the same way, you just have to do it manually. Um, what else? The uh, the, the gizmo package has, has a 110 outlet in the back and more usb ports this one has a regular 12 volt outlet back there instead uh, i don't even know what they 
what they come with that that ridiculous three thousand dollar options package you know light up cup holders and you know some 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 power gizmos that that you really don't need um you can see i did opt for the all weather floor mats which are pretty nice here in new england um so anyway that's you know kind of just a brief thing more this is more about what i'm going to do to this to my daily driver this 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 project car so Hold on for just one second, and we'll go over some more mods. As I stated, I don't leave anything stock, and the cool thing about this is, uh, before I even took delivery of this, I had parts here <laughs> waiting to be put on it, which I think is just way cool. They actually arrived the same day that I picked it up, but the, the parts got here first, so that's cool. First things first, I went over the, uh, the springs. I'm going to be replacing the exhaust, and this is kind of cool because you can see... The exhaust tips in there but the the nice kind of octagon it's not an octagon shape a hex almost a hexagon shape it built that nice tip is built right into the valance so you can you swap out the exhaust and you leave that that nice valance stays in place so you don't have to deal with you know big aftermarket tips or whatever it's going to maintain its stock appearance with these really nice tips that are built in the valance again these have a towing package all of them have a towing package built in you remove that little that little valance piece there and you got a you know nice class 3 hitch there so let's let's walk here into the garage there's my snowblower thank you hope I don't need to break you out again today today sorry this this season so here's the stack of parts that arrived again before i even took delivery of the car that's a over there that's a husky liner for the back so that i can have a nice spot for my dog to ride in hopefully contain all the hair back there and all the dirt and stuff from his paws and a nice husky floor liner there for george the shop dog there is the the Borla catback exhaust. And now Borla, I love the Borla stuff. It's you know three or four stainless. For, for my money, <clears throat> there's only there's only two companies if you want to get a top quality exhaust system, and that is Borla or Magnaflow. And there's some other good stuff out there. Um, I used you know, Dynatech stuff on my Celine pickup here, and I'll do a video on this this truck later on at some point. But those are the those are the only two other guys, other companies. You know they use cheaper stainless. They use 409 stainless, and their sound. You know like a Flowmaster example. And there's, and there's nothing wrong with that product. If you like Flowmasters, that's fine. To me, Flowmaster is more for the younger guy. It's it's loud. It's obnoxious. The Borla, I have it on my F150. It's really nice. It's nice and quiet if you're driving quietly. If you romp on it, it sounds aggressive and that's what I like I like that that dual personality where it's able to still you know drone it's nice and quiet your family sedan but you you know you, you step on it and it goes they are the H&R lowering springs I talked about uh, doing the air raid cold air intake for this um, nice OE, OEM style air box and a big round conical filter and it seals to the hood. Again, I'll do a video when I install all this stuff as well. And that is, oh, that's the bumper guard. That's just a black, black plastic piece. That's a Ford part that I picked up online, uh, cheaper than you could get at the dealer installed. And it just protects the, uh, just protects the bumper from, you know, stuff going in and out, especially for the dog. On there you can see, oh, that's a license plate frame under there. And I peeled off the uh, Buy Townsend Ford. I hate that when the dealers put their crap on there. I feel like this isn't NASCAR. You know, you're not paying me to be a billboard for, you know, for your dealership. So that was the, the first thing I did was rip that thing off. So a quick note about stage three. You'll see the stage three on, you know, logo on these boxes. And I actually put those on there. I took the time and printed these out and, and stuck these on there because I want to give a huge shout out to Stage 3 Motorsports out in 
Arizona. These guys are fantastic. They are Ford specialists. Um, they are these guys. This company is run by enthusiasts, and they are fantastic. If you own a Ford and you're a like-minded individual like me, you want to modify it for performance. Stage three is is by far your best bet. I mean, they do the Mustang, of course, F-150, the Raptor, tons of stuff, you know, for the Super Duties and the diesels. Um, they do other other Fords, Focus, Tauruses, SHO. They even do the Ranger, Expedition Flex, Fusion. Um, they even have a section, a pretty comprehensive section on motorhomes, RVs that utilize the Ford V10. It's amazing. And of course, they do the Explorer, which is what I have. So these parts are all going on. Um, like I said, stage three, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way. They're not giving me, they didn't, they gave me nothing for this video, no price break, no, you know, there's, there's no nothing. I'm doing this completely on my own because this company is, they, they stand out. They are top notch. I bought a set of headers um, for the F-150 here and the downpipe from them. And that was my first experience with them and they are just fantastic like i said that's run by enthusiasts out in arizona if you have a ford then if you don't and you should know about stage three motorsports if you don't you will um i ordered all this stuff on a thursday uh it came on a monday and i had one item drop shipped out of this whole package here and the drop ship came on a wednesday this is not one of the stage three is not one of those companies that has a crappy website you go on there and there's like a hundred logos and we stock all this we stock it all and everything is drop shipped these guys actually stock the, the items and if they don't the, they have a good relationship with the companies that they drop ship they they hand pick the companies that they carry and so that the drop ship is actually coming and arriving in a timely manner it's you know, it's not something that gets there on some slow boat from China or something. You are going to get it in a very timely manner. Again, I waited. I mean, it was over a weekend, so, but that was one, you know, two business days, you know, from from Arizona, you know, for all, for all these parts. And, oh, free shipping. Their prices, not only are their prices better than anybody else's on the web, but they have free shipping. So it's, it's even that much better. You know, a $300 part you buy somewhere else. You know, and they're going to whack you fifty dollars for shipping. Well, stage three is going to sell that same part for you know two sixty nine and free shipping. So you save and save and save. I can't say enough good things about stage three. Again, they didn't give me a thing for this plug. They're just they're just great, and that's why um, that's why I'm giving them this this huge endorsement here. Anyway, so I'll do a video when I install all this stuff. You know, the air raid, cold air intake. We'll do a video for the H and R springs. I'm probably not going to do a video for sliding in the Husky liner and after, you know behind the third row seat. <laughs> and we'll do a video uh, when we install the Borel exhaust. Hopefully, the exhaust and the springs are going to go on very soon at the at the same time. I will definitely do a video um, if I decide to dip. Like I said, I'm probably going to dip those wheels black. Um, and then if I like it and decide I want to stick with it, I will bite the bullet and have them uh, powder coated. I got a great, really great powder coater here. Powder coated the stuff for the wife's Miata you've seen. And he does it for a hundred buck a bucks, hundred bucks a wheel. And he, I think he said he would charge me another hundred dollars, you know, for breaking down the wheels and taking off the sensors when they go into the oven and so on. So 500 bucks, I could get all those wheels, you know, powder coated professionally powder coated a uh, gloss black so i'm probably going to do that and i will take you guys along with me when i do so again so this is going to this is you know just part one overview of the explorer sport the daily drive enjoy the daily drive and the upcoming modification modifications that i am going to be doing to her and i hope that uh that you'll hit subscribe that you'll hit the like that you'll follow along with me as i begin this endeavor this uh this summer project to turn this into uh, i'm also going to tint the uh i'm going to tint those front windows really dark nice dark limo tint there in the back in the third row in the in the back passenger and i'm going to tint those windows i'm going to do something that's with legal probably a 30 percent tint it definitely needs that so tinted windows lowered it's going to have you know the black wheels it's going to be much more ominous 
stance, couple of couple of badges, a couple of 3.5 liter twin turbo badges, just to really set this thing off. So, anyway, as always, guys, you know, thanks uh, so much for watching. You know, hit subscribe if you are so inclined, and thank you for watching, my friends. Take care.